I, Bernard Wagner, being duly elected as a member of the Belize City Council, do solemnly swear that I shall at all times, to the best of my ability, exercise the powers and perform the duties of my office in the best interests of the residents of Belize City in accordance with the Constitution, laws, and regulations of Belize and of Belize City. So help me God. The symbolic transition of power from one administration to another is a significant event in local government. The swearing-in ceremony marks the official transfer of control and influence from the outgoing Belize City Council to the members who are newly elected. This morning, a new municipal government led by returning Mayor Bernard Wagner swore an oath of office. This third consecutive swearing-in as mayor is an immeasurable honor. My gratitude and my promise to remain a faithful mayor are equally overpowering. At this moment, our team is fueled by a surge of triumph and overwhelming public support. Yet, our hearts ache at the loss of our beloved city administrator, Mrs. Stephanie Lindo. We have proven time and time again that we are capable of overcoming adversity and we remain steadfast in our commitment to serving the residents of Belize City. Together, we will persevere once again and we will continue to make strides towards a brighter future for our community, keeping her legacy alive every step of the way. Taking the oath of office gives legal legitimacy to the elected officials. It also confirms their authority to make decisions, enact laws, and represent the community. Today, we are swearing in our Belize City Council for the term 2024 to 2027. Election, campaign, those times are over. It is time to get to work. And our team, the team you see assembled here, is a fusion of so many talented individuals. As chairman, I am proud of all of you, and I thank you and your families for the sacrifices that you have made and for the sacrifices that you still need to make. Today, we have three Peters, Mayor, Alan, and Javier. Some way, somehow, Javier is always there, isn't he? You can't put down gold us, boy. So we have the three Peters, Mayor, Alan, and Javier. We have the repeaters, Kaya, Stefan, and Edmond. And we have the new seaters, Malcolm, Dorian, Elude, Evan, and Sherwin. Congratulations and a big round of applause for all of them. The order of business upon returning to City Hall next week is to tackle the existing drainage situation across the old capital. Mayor Wagner and his team are committed to completing these essential projects. Well, the biggest projects are the drains, 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 drains. That has been the call on the streets um, in Belize City that people want the drains them to be really shaped up, uh, maintained, have them connected to the canals and the canals to the river, the river to the sea. If we can get that sort of drainage um, done, we would, we would be in a bit much better position given that in, a, in the next three to four months we face the hurricane season. So that will be in priority number one to really get into drains uh, maintenance. By reciting the oath, officials publicly commit to fulfilling their duties and responsibilities. It serves as a reminder of their obligation to serve the public interest. The swearing-in is a crucial moment that establishes the foundation for effective governance and public service. Now we could celebrate this huge victory, a historic victory by numbers probably hardly ever seen in the political scene. And everybody would love, any politician would love to have that kind of affirmation of support from your voters. But with that kind of of margin, of support, of love, 
comes great responsibility. For those that get a lot, a lot is expected from them. That means that people are going to stop you in the streets and they're going to talk to you about their street or they're going to talk to you about the garbage or about some club they make too much noise or the drain or the work or the park needs to fix. And it's so easy to say, well, you know what, right on an office hours. Today brought together community members, leaders and stakeholders and fostered a sense of unity and shared purpose. It also provides insight into CITCO's intended policies and initiatives. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.